Well, life appears to be going on normally, even in the areas that were worst affected by those protests on Friday. I'm talking about Majengo and Kisauni areas. Police, however, continue to maintain a presence in Majengo, which is where Sheikh Ibrahim Omar preached at the Masjid Musa Mosque. This is also where the Salvation Army Church, which is about 50 meters from the mosque, was torched. It's the second time this has happened here. And residents we spoke to, many who were scared, of course, of speaking on camera, condemned the protests. We are saddened by the events of the past two days, but it wasn't right for the youth to cause chaos. Well, Muslim leaders have also continued to condemn the killings, but they maintain that Muslim clerics have become victims of extrajudicial killings by Kenyan security forces. Now, we spoke to one of them, Abu Bakr Sharif Ahmed, also known as Makaburi, and this is what he had to say. Whoever is a threat or whoever has certain, a certain way of thinking or whoever is against the invasion of Somalia, they have a list and they get el eliminated. So it's not only me, it's not Ibrahim. It's anybody who has certain thoughts. Makaburi has been sanctioned by the UN and US for being a recruiter and facilitator of the Al-Shabaab militants. Now the killings come in the wake of a government crackdown on perceived Al-Shabaab sympathizers, but so far police have denied being involved. Jane Keo, CCTV, Mombasa, Kenya.